Howdy YouTube. Today we're taking a look at the Redivis RT72 handheld radio. It's a VHF, UHF, analog, and DMR radio. So let's dive in and take a look on K5ATA ham radio. Okay, so a couple of things to look at here. Okay, it is, like I said, a dual band VHF, UHF, DMR radio. Um, the UHF frequencies are from 400 to 470, and the VHF 136 to 174. Pretty normal. Um, sometimes people ask if the UHF goes up to 480. No, it does not. It stops at 470. Um, it does have the texting feature, so you can send SMS through the DMR system. Um, you can actually program this from the keypad. You can program everything into this thing. Let me turn that on for you. This is, this is the way. Okay. You can program everything into this radio using the keypad, except for your radio ID number. Um, when I first opened it up, I actually wanted to try to see if I can program the whole thing just using the keypad. I was able to do everything but the radio ID number. So you do need a PC to be able to get that in there. To download the CPS software, all you need to do is head over to the Redivis website, um, go to the Resources Center, scroll down, you'll find the RT72. It's a brand new radio. Um, the RT72 software is there, as well as the contact database tool okay download both of those like i said extremely self-explanatory nothing terribly quirky with it getting it set up you do have some settings in there that you can tweak as far as like hang times and stuff like that but i didn't tweak any of those things i just plugged in some some frequencies set the color code set the time slot and bada bing bada boom do the fandango we're in business and on the air um, it's a dual power radio, high power and low power. High is going to put out 5 watts, low is going to put out 1 watt. On the side, you have the PTT button and two programmable side buttons. They have a little standing out, whatever you want to call that, up and down arrow. But you can program those to do whatever you want. And it's also got a programmable button on top. This right here is actually the GPS. It does have GPS built in. Um, let me see if I can show you that. Radio settings. I think if I go up, there you go. Up twice. You can turn GPS on and off if you hit GPS position. Okay. And here's what you got. Now I'm inside under a metal roof. So it's probably not going to pick up. But let me pull that back up for you. Um, but it gives you your latitude, your longitude, your speed, and your altitude, which I thought was kind of cool. So, um, it also has APRS built in. Okay, so it's an extremely lightweight radio, considering it's a DMR radio. It's lighter than the Anytones, pretty significantly lighter. And it's actually thinner than the Anytones. If you look... The Anytone is on top, the Redivis is on the bottom. Um, most of the difference, though, I think is probably in the battery if you really look at it. But the Anytone is bigger and heavier. The Redivis is lighter. One thing I want to go ahead and point out, the belt clip on this. Normally, belt clips are one of those things that we break a lot. And this, I'm not sure how well you can actually see it. That is actually a metal backing plate. And... The part that actually attaches to it and screws in is metal as well. So you still have the standard, you know, small pin. I don't know if you can see that with that antenna there, but you still have the standard small spring loaded pin down there that may or may not break. But the actual attachment to the radio itself is pretty solid. It's, you know, it, it's metal, so that's better than it could be. 
Um, when you turn it on, okay, it is color. Let me wipe that off. It is color, but it is not the vibrant color that a lot of radios have. But then again, this is a sub one hundred dollar radio. Um, a lot of those with the flashy, um, the flashy multicolor displays and whatnot, you're significantly more money than this. This is, I think, going for about ninety five bucks on the Redivis website. They were nice enough to send this to me to review it, but if you were to go buy one, it costs you about a hundred bucks, a little less than. Um, battery's decent. I've had this thing on pretty much, yeah, probably about twenty four hours without charging. Um, I've transmitted with it a few times, several times actually, when I was getting it set up. But, And you can see the battery is sitting right about half. So now with heavy use, I wouldn't think it would last two days. But I would think you could probably get two days out of it with you know moderate use and a lot of standby monitoring. Okay, so you do have the standard pull-out speaker mic section there um, for headset or whatever. But if you look closely right here... Okay, that's something I hadn't seen on a uh, radio and DMR radio yet. Well, I hadn't seen it on. Oops, turn that down. That's a repeater identifying. Okay. Um, however, that is a micro USB port. Okay, so it ships with a micro USB cable. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I always label every cable when it comes out because not all cables are alike. But when you start up the CPS software on this, which is downloadable from the Redivis site, plug that dude in, plug it into your USB port. There were no drivers to install, nothing. It just, boom, that was it. It took. Okay, it took. It was easy to program. I had this thing programmed with a very basic code plug um, with two DMR channels. Well, one, one real channel and a parrot channel and an analog repeater and that analog repeater is what you just heard identifying the radio has storage for 4,000 channels now i don't know about you but i don't anticipate going through 4,000 channels um my everyday carry radio that i use up until this point i think i've got 80 channels or something like that and that's half of them are hotspot channels and half of them are the local dmr repeater with several analog repeaters mixed in um, that list does tend to grow over time as i find more things i'm looking for or interested in but 4,000 channels you're probably good for a minute um, it does hold 130,000 contacts now a note about that there are more than 130,000 dmrid numbers in the world today so um, most of the radios out there are going to run out of storage space so pick your countries that you know you definitely want to store in there and just kind of fill up the that memory however you choose but 130,000 contacts that's a pretty good number of them the sound on this radio is actually pretty good um, I got good quality audio reports transmitting and you know, I get good decent quality audio receiving as well um, so overall, I'm going to say the audio quality is pretty good. So what do I think? I think we've got a $95 dual band DMR and analog handheld radio that's going for $95. Okay. I think as far as, you know, somebody just getting into ham radio, somebody getting into DMR, it's a great radio. Um, does it have all of the bells and whistles of some of the other ones? No. But like I said, it's 95 bucks. Um, it has most of the stuff in there, though. It's got APRS. It's got GPS in there. You can program all the buttons. You can program a lot of it from the keypad. Um, it's got the micro USB, which is, to me, a whole lot easier than having to mess with possibly changing drivers and whatnot with the typical Kenwood style, you know, plug-in on the side. It comes with... A decent battery seems like I said seems like it lasts about two days with moderate use um, comes with obviously the charger it comes with the standard antenna you know it's it does not come with any kind of high gain antenna or anything like that but you can pick up a higher gain antenna Nagoya 
for what 15 20 bucks so it comes with the owner's manual which i actually did not look at um i try to program the first time without looking at the owner's manuals because well let's just be real most of us don't and so i want to see if we can program it without having to dig through a bunch of fine print um i did look at the owner's manual after programming it and the english is actually pretty good um a lot of times you get some of these manuals from these radios from other countries and the english is extremely hard to understand but it's actually pretty solid oh, thought we were going to get somebody talking to us for a second so um do i recommend this radio yeah i really do um this is a radio that i'm going to use with some of my students that I'm going to check out to them and you know they're getting started in ham radio just got several of them licensed so this is a good gateway radio for them they're going to be able to take it with them try it out get into DMR and if they want to buy one for themselves it's $95 okay so that wraps that up um, any questions or comments or anything comment below. I appreciate it. Um, hit like, hit subscribe. It does help the channel out. And y'all take care. We'll see you on the air.